For decades, input has been the weakness of our mobile devices. Typing with two thumbs on a piece of glass is no picnic, but all the while voice input has been getting better. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Google Assistant offers an amazing variety of commands, and in today's episode, we're going to focus on building your own using if this, then that, to add items. Uh, I'm going to show you several in particular. For example, uh, let me just pull up my phone, and we're going to say, Okay, Google, tomorrow morning, call Bob. Thanks, Frank. I'll add this to remember the milk for tomorrow morning. And I can put the phone back in my pocket. That's a whole lot easier than keying all of that stuff in. I'm going to show you four applets on If This Then That in particular that use Google Assistant inputting into Remember the Milk. Now stick around to the very end because I'm going to give you a link to an ebook that's going to give you all the instructions for how to create those. And once you've seen me how to once you've seen me do these four, I think you're going to have the ability to do a number of them on your own that are going to help your productivity. So let's get started. I'm logged into my if this then that account. Everything that we're going to talk about today uses Google Assistant. So let me just first search for the Google Assistant applets. And there they are. I've got quite a few of them. Now, the example that you just saw me use where I said this morning followed by a command. Let me show you how I constructed that. I would go up to create. And I always get this statement, if this, and that's the first thing I do. I just click if this, and I'm presented with a number of different services. I want to use Google Assistant. So I start typing Google and bam, there it is. Now I'm presented with three different choices. And in each of these, I want to say a phrase with a text ingredient. Uh, in other words, I want to be able to say something like, this morning or tomorrow morning, that's the phrase, and then whatever follows that is the text ingredient. You'll see what I mean here. When I click on this, what do you want to say? So um, I want to create that applet that's uh, where I can add something to this morning on my list. So I'm going to say this morning and then it says to use a dollar sign afterwards, like right there. What's another way you want to say it? Uh, if I thought I might mess up and say it some different way, I could add something else, but that's fine. And then as I scroll down, what do you want the assistant to say in response? Like you heard it say, uh, okay, Frank, I'll add this to remember the milk. You could just say something like, okay, got it whatever you wanted there and create the trigger. And that's all you have to do. So when Google Assistant hears this morning and then it's waiting for you to say something else. So then what do we want to do after that? The then that part, we want to create a task in Remember the Milk. Now, you have to have the paid version of Remember the Milk for this to work. In fact, as I search for Remember the Milk, and click it. The only way it's going to be in your list of choices is if you have the pro version. And I only have one choice is to create a new task. Now, the text field, that's going to be that dollar sign. Whatever I said after this morning, like uh, this morning, call Bob. Okay, call Bob is the text field. So if I just simply created action, uh, if I said call Bob, that would wind up on the list. But I want to go a little bit further. Um, I want it to be for today, and I want it to be for this morning. Now, in my system, I use priorities to divide the day. Priority one is what I call my Fab Five, the five most important tasks of the day. Priority two is things for the morning. Priority three for the afternoon and 
the fourth priority or no priority for things in the evening. So I would just do this, a carrot followed by the word today. And remember the milk recognizes that little shorthand, a carrot followed by the word today as a due date of today. Exclamation two. Any, the exclamation is telling it this is the priority and the number two, this is priority two. So this is going to be something for the, uh, for the morning. And then that's really all I have to do and then create action. And that's all I need to do. I'll say continue. I don't want to receive notification when it runs. I'm going to click finish. And that's all there is to it. So I've now created something that is going to let me add with my voice a task for the morning. Now let's go back to the applets that I have and show you some of the other things that I have there. Google Assistant. And so as we scroll down, um, create new task for this evening. Now with what I showed you already, you would be able to do this same thing and your trigger would probably be something like this evening so that you could say, okay, Google, this evening followed by whatever you wanted the task to be. You already know how to set that up. What about something for the afternoon where you would be able to say, okay, Google, this afternoon, followed by the name of the task, it would put it on today for this afternoon. Oh, actually that says for tomorrow. I have four applets for today, something that's gonna to add to the morning, the afternoon, the evening, and for what I call my Fab Five. I also have four more for things happening tomorrow, uh, where I can say, okay, Google, tomorrow Fab Five, or okay, Google, tomorrow morning, okay, Google, tomorrow afternoon, okay, Google, tomorrow evening. Those are set up just like what I showed you already. Now, let's say it's a task for another day, like, a, like create a new task for uh, the upcoming Wednesday. Let me show you how I've done those. I'm going to say create. If this, and of course, this is going to be Google Assistant. Here we are. This is going to be a phrase with a text ingredient, just like we did. So I want to have a trigger word of uh, Wednesday, followed by the dollar sign. So that if I say, okay, Google Wednesday, followed by a task, whatever the task is, is going to wind up on Wednesday. All right, so we want, what do we want Google to say? Maybe, okay, I will add it to uh, the list for Wednesday, whatever you wanted to, uh, to put in there. Uh, create trigger. Now that then that, of course, we want this to be, remember the milk, click, create a new task. All right, so whatever the name of the task is, is going to be that, but I want it to happen on Wednesday. I'm going to do the little carrot, type Wednesday. Remember the milk is going to interpret this as the due date for the upcoming Wednesday. I want this to happen in the morning, so that's going to be a priority to create action, continue, finish, and it's done. With the techniques that we've shown you so far, now you'd be able to go back and make your own applets so that you could have something that's due on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I have seven different applets that take care of those in addition to the four for anything today or the four for anything for tomorrow. All right, I wanna show you two more. Here's the situation for the next one. A lot of times uh, there's something that someone else owes me. 
but I want to have something on my list to expect to receive from them. So let's say I ordered something from Amazon. Now, if it's not critical that I receive it on a particular day, if it's not critical that I see that reminder on a particular day, Friday is a good day for me to just sort of check up on stuff. So when I add an expect to receive, I like to see that thing like, Friday afternoon. So I want to create an applet so that if I say something like expect to receive Amazon order, that remember the milk creates a task with a due date of Friday and tags it expect to receive. Let me show you how we're going to put that one together. So let's start and if this then that by searching for Google Assistant. All right, so here are all of my Assistant applets. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna create a new one. If this, and it's gonna use Google Assistant, there it is. And again, this is going to be a phrase with a text ingredient. What do you want to say? I want to say, expect to receive, and then there's my dollar sign. That's gonna be the task. The dollar sign will be the task. And this uh, down here, what do you want the assistant to say? Uh, how about I will follow up on Friday? It really doesn't matter what it is. Create trigger. All right, so now let's build the this the then that in remember the milk. We want to create a new task. So if what I want to do is be able to say, you know, uh, expect to receive Amazon order. All right, so Amazon order, that's going to be the text field. I want to see this thing on Friday afternoon, and I want it to have a tag of expect to receive. So here's how I'm going to do that. You probably already figured out it's going to be the carrot Friday. I want to see it in the afternoon. Let's say uh, priority three. And to tag it, ETR is the tag that I use for expect to receive. So what's going to happen is it's going to create uh, that task. It's going to give it a due date of Friday, priority three, and tag it expect to receive. Now, the way I have my list sorted, when I look at the task for that day, the fab five are at the top, followed by the morning, followed by the afternoon, followed by the evening. Now, to take it a step further, within each of those four, the tasks are sorted by the tag. So let's say I've got several things that I'm expecting to receive on Friday. They're scheduled for the afternoon. Those things are going to be grouped together in the afternoon. All right, create action, continue, finish, and it's done. All right, here's one more. We all have errands to run and we want to batch those errands, kind of run a bunch of them together. For me, the best time to do that is Saturday afternoon. So I'd like to have a little something in my system where I can just say something like, you know, uh, okay, Google errand and just speak the errand and it automatically put it on my list for Saturday afternoon and tag it with that particular tag. Now you probably already know how to set that up because it's gonna be very similar to the expect to receive, but let's show you how to do it. By this point, you could probably do it as well as I can. We'll say create. We're gonna use Google Assistant. There it is. It's gonna be a phrase with a text ingredient. What do you want to say? So it'll be like, okay, Google, uh, errand, and then speak the name of the errand. So I'll just say errand with a dollar sign. What do we want Google Assistant to say? Um, I will remind you to run that 
Aaron, perhaps. Okay, we'll say create trigger. The, then that is going to, of course, be remember the milk. And of course, already there it is. We're going to create a new task. So this is going to be, of course, the name of the errand. We want this to be for Saturday afternoon. So carrot Saturday, the priority. So exclamation point three is going to put it in the afternoon. And then the tag that I use, I use hashtag trip for my errand. So hashtag T-R-I-P, create action, continue, finish, done. If you've made it through this far, you probably are interested in this particular topic. I've got a free downloadable ebook for you. The address to go to, it's a bit.ly link, so bit.ly slash frankbuck125. It is case sensitive. It does have to be lowercase. bit.ly slash Frank Buck 125. Good luck putting together these applets in If This Then That uh, so that you can speak to this little device and things wind up on Remember the Milk. Thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and take a look at these two videos right over here and subscribe to the channel for more videos. This has been Frank Buck helping you get organized and make it look easy.